If you're thinking of having a go at stage one at home and you haven't got a bucket and you're not quite sure what you're going to do, how about using a cool bag instead? Because it really doesn't matter what the container is. It does help if it's got a zip or a lid, it makes it a bit easier, but you can use anything you like. And when you're thinking about what you're going to put in there, it needs to be something the children are going to be intrigued by. And in schools, um, we often use wind-up toys and things like that, but you might not have any, and getting to the shops is tricky at the moment, so we might not do that. And you can't use the children's toys, because they would be very confused about why you wouldn't let them have them. And remember that one of the rules in stage one is that the children can't touch or have um, the things out of the container straight away. So I think don't use the children's toys. I think that's, that's a bit confusing for them. And we're remembering that the reason that we don't give them the toys is because what we want is for the child to connect with us, the leading adult, and what we're saying and what we're doing. And if we give the child the toy, the child, the child connects with the toy. And um, we get um, sort of cut out of the interaction and the child is not processing the new information as easily. So um, have a look around your house and find some things that you think are intriguing. Um, let me show you what I found in my house and we'll have a go, see what you think. It's time for a cool bag. I've got something in my cool bag, in my cool bag, in my cool bag. I've got something in my cool bag. Mm, I wonder what it is. 